to introduce our, our next speaker, this young lady here. Uh, this is Ljubljana Malai. She comes from Albania and she works as an assistant professor uh, uh, at the University in Tirana in Albania. And we are very grateful to hear from you. So the floor is yours. So she has been involved also, we can say here, promoting rights and inclusion of young people in, uh, in, um, in democratic life. about networking. I just want to say something because I, as I said before, I'm the president of Women Federation Sweden. And uh, recently, a year ago, actually, Nitti contacted me. I wanted me to take a little bit bigger responsibility. And um, I said, almost said no. And then she said, well, together with big is Parkins <laughs> from Norway. And she's right here. So, it just shows the power of support. And I have to say, I have felt tremendous support from the leaders in the Federation. We need to support each other. Did it work? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. okay. Thank you very much. Uh, in fact, for me, it's very important to represent to you today uh, and even to speak uh, uh, for this uh, wonderful topic that it's power of women, networking, building a culture of peace, uh, taking action of peace. Uh, I'm coming from uh, Balkan countries, uh, Albania, so uh, I wanted to start with uh, these quotes from uh, Mother Teresa. She, uh, she was uh, originally from Albania. And uh, she said that do not wait for leaders, do it alone, person to person. And if you want to bring happiness to the whole world, go home and love your family. That are very powerful expressions uh, to uh, great messages. Uh, for uh, not only for uh, young people, but also about uh, the uh, women. Um, I am representing also Center for Education and Social Advancement, that it's a, a civil society organization uh, from Albania. Uh, it's founded uh, from uh, youths, and uh, uh, we believe that trust, security, cooperation, and common shared values are the way to contribute for a better, peaceful world. Uh, the world nowadays is facing the most challenging problems such as wars, uh, so uh, as I uh, said, uh, I'm coming from Albania that it's uh, uh, suffered a civil war after the 90s uh, when the communism period fell. And uh, also I am uh, from uh, north of Albania that is in border with Kosovo and also uh, the war in Kosovo, it was uh, a very difficult period and uh, I experienced uh, the refugees period. I was very little but I have uh, like uh, memories that it's related with, with that uh, period. So these wars that are caused from the lack of cooperation, instability and the bad governance. Uh, how we think to ensure peace in these uh, turbulent times is from empowerment and education. That's why this organization has been focused on education and education of young people. Uh, between partnership, youth exchange programs, I worked for three years uh, in uh, programs of European Union that is related with European Solidarity Corps and Erasmus Plus that are uh, so important opportunities for young people 
uh, to gain uh, new skills and also to be connected with others, uh, peers from uh, other countries. And it's very important to be connected because even in this way, well, we can uh, ensure peace. Uh, building communication bridges, political engagement and leadership, it's important also that young people to be uh, involved in decision making uh, that uh, make them, uh, their voice be heard and also uh, their needs be heard. Uh, thinking beyond borders, uh, I mentioned this because um, I just want to share an experience. Uh, when I came here, I came with uh, Kasia, she's uh, from Poland but is married in Albania. And uh, um, when we came in Cyprus, it was a lady that was waiting uh, to separate uh, the people that were from uh, European Union and people that were non-European Union. <laughs> so when I <laughs> passed to the other side, that it was Albania, it's not uh, yet in uh, European Union. So uh, there were so many questions that made to me the uh, police officer that was waiting. Where are you going? How many days are you staying? Do you have a hotel to stay? So I have to explain all this <laughs> question to him just because I wasn't. Uh, part of European Union. So I think that uh, to think beyond borders and to treat uh, all in equal way is very important. Uh, Center for Education and Social uh, uh, Advancement uh, has the mission to contribute to the development of society through education and training of individuals, groups, and communities in all fields, including but not limited to media, culture, art, entrepreneurship, environmental and health. Uh, our programs are focused on early childhood development and parenting, youth empowerment, media information and literacy because uh, it's very important to address the issues of media, uh, just uh, uh, to address hate speech, misinformation, disinformation that uh, may be very harmful uh, for the people that uh, heard about uh, the notice. So I want to share uh, something that uh, was represented in uh, international media for, uh, for Albanians, for example, for immigrants Albanians. Uh, this years that uh, say that all uh, Albanians uh, immigrants are criminals and that was represented in all medias and we, uh, we addressed this. Uh, from uh, some research articles that we did and uh, to say that criminality is not related with the ethnicity but it's related with individuality. And, uh, that's, yeah. <laughs> also advocacy for human rights and social services in criminal justice. Uh, main activities are research for development, training, capacity building, campaigns, advocacy that are made from our youth in Albania. Uh, youth empowerment is uh, an initiative that we have uh, made the tradition I want to break. It's a unique call for youth to share their thoughts through writing on traditions that uh, withhold them and society from developing. Celebrating the Mediterranean is uh, an initiative that is made from 25 uh, countries that are in the Mediterranean region and uh, that is to empower young people uh, uh, that have uh, uh, talents uh, in arts, in music and uh, to give them the opportunity to express themselves. Open discussions that is related with relativization of democracy and the involvement of young people in the decision making process. Mental health awareness, also uh, we um, have online campaigns and contributing to development of policies and strategies to improve mental health services for young people in Albania. Constructive debates among young people that's related with the strength and capacities of young people. Constructive debates, intercultural dialogue and social inclusion. Um, the tradition I want to break is uh, for youth to identify, speak up, and challenge the harmful traditions that go against human rights, human development, and self-actualization. At the end of uh, this call, uh, we uh, public all stories in our social media, just uh, the women and the uh, men that uh, express uh, their feeling about this uh, topic uh, can uh, uh, be heard uh, for the others. This is Day of Mediterranean.
And uh, so we are uh, preparing uh, to uh, publish, uh, to translate a book that is relating with early childhood development and parenting. That uh, we think it's very important for uh, parents to uh, be read. Uh, I am social worker with profession, so even uh, the other woman that is uh, taking care of this uh, book is a psychologist. So uh, we are trying to uh, bring this uh, to Albania. Media and information uh, literacy, as I uh, uh, spoke already, it was in uh, collaboration with University of Tirana, Faculty of Social Science, and also uh, financed by uh, UNESCO. And uh, we did uh, some exchanges with uh, young people from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Albania, North Macedonia, and uh, we believe that it's very important to bring youths together so they can address uh, these issues that has related with hate speech, with conflicts, with wars, and that's why it was uh, uh, this activity. And thank you very much for uh, hearing me. And uh, it was a great opportunity for me to be here. Thank you so much, Ligona. Uh, it's so important to have the young, young voice. And you know, we elder generation, we feel a lot of hope when we, we, when we have women like you here. And we are happy to see quite a lot of young people now. And Women Federation is really reaching out now to, to, to uh, promote and to help encourage and empower uh, the young voice of women. So thank you so much. And uh, Albania is a beautiful country. I was there a few years ago. And thank you so much for helping transforming into the democratic and the values that are really good. Thank you very much.